So important that you understand the house astrology. So it's constantly changing, right? It takes 12 months to go through all the houses. Now I want to get into what the houses themselves mean. So let's go to the first house, which is the below, the below the horizon, under, under the pie, the first slice of pie is to the left. So when you think of the first house, think of it as your identity, how you appear to people to be. It's, it's defined by the ascendant. So the ascendant is the first house. That defines you. And really that's, you know, what sign is that in? So what sign is in the house? What planets are there? The physical appearance, very important. So it's really a great one to look and see how you appear when people first meet you. Look in the first house. Uh, it also has a very strong influence in someone's life for, again, how they approach things, how they appear, how they come off with someone. If you go to a party and you act a certain way, it's usually your first house. You'll appear as your first house to that party. People in the party, oh, they're like, they're very quiet or they're very talkative. So that reveals something about you, and that would be found in the first house. Now, since there is, um, that's the first house we're talking about, it's the first place we're going to look at where planets in the sky move into the house. They tr go back and forth. When they move, it's called the transit. It's the transit in the house. So the new house also represents new things coming up, um, new projects or uh, new perspectives of things. It also is the first house and number one, and the first sign is Aries. So the first sign is Aries, and Aries rules the first house. So you can represent the first house, it's represented by Aries, the very first sign. 